What's up guys, Flop Industries down here in South Louisiana. Jake behind the camera, Jordan right here. And uh, it's our buddy Ben Boudreaux. I met Ben last year, uh, fish down here. I had my grandfather, my nephew, had an awesome day. He's also a waterfowl hunter, hunts in Arkansas, uses dive bomb products. And uh, we got it lined up to come down here early spring. What are we looking for today, man? Uh, so today we're gonna be targeting mostly redfish and flounder we uh we had a big rain here this uh past weekend right before easter we caught about 14 inches of rain so it's it's dumping a lot of fresh water but this will push some bait out of the marsh and and those redfish and flounder will be sitting there on the outside of it waiting for them so so we're gonna give it a try sweet see what we can do with them let's go Live shrimp out of the flop box today under a popping cork. Nice little keeper redfish down here in Louisiana. Jordan's first contribution to the box. <laughs> I would say sheep's head. Oh, getting a little variety pack. That's the thing about using them shrimp, man. You don't know what the heck you're going to get. Down here, sheep's head, flounder, redfish, black drum, trout. Look at them teeth. Look at that. So we're out here. We've, we've caught in a few fish, just fishing cuts and points of islands and stuff with moving water and current and wind blown points and stuff like that. And So we're just going to keep sticking at it. We're catching a few and we'll, we'll find them eventually. Good. We got shoot. I think we've probably thrown I don't know, eight or nine flounder in there. We've thrown probably five redfish. Thrown another probably three or four back. So it's been good. It makes it sound like we're not catching anything. <laughs> it's going pretty good. Jordan. Yeah, we caught a bunch. Well, we caught some good ones. Nothing too huge, but uh, some nice slots, some flounder. Some sheep's head, a couple black drum, even a gas burgoo. So, catching everything today. It's been fun. Ever since starting with dog ball, I never know what day it is. I'm about to say, there's normally fish on this. Are you going to make the cut? He probably will. It'd be close. Oh yeah, about a quarter inch over. 16 and a quarter. All right, so that was a uh, great start down here. We drove up this morning from uh, Central Arkansas. These guys flew in last night. And we met Ben this afternoon. And uh, we actually came back a little bit early because we, uh, on the way down, we just kept coming across all the crawfish ponds and it started getting on our minds. So we're like, hey, we got to, we got several hours of daylight left, but hey, we got to get back in time to eat some crawfish tonight because we're in Louisiana. So uh, we kept uh, nine redfish, eight flounder, uh, threw several back, caught several drum we threw back. Jordan caught a huge sheep's head. So it was a nice little warm up. We're going to Ben wrap us up. We'll get these cleaned up. And yeah, we had a decent afternoon. Uh, caught a few fish. It wasn't too bad. Uh, we're going to go get our bellies full and we're gonna give them hell more. What's up, man? Second day here in Louisiana. We're gonna go for a full day today. We got in yesterday. Sorry, I just crushed the cliff bar. Um, yesterday, I fished a few hours. It was good. Today, we're going, we're mad at them. We're going to get them today. Let's get a little, uh, little red down from Ben for today. Yeah, so we just launched the boat. We're, uh, Gonna try a little different area today. Uh, we caught them decent yesterday afternoon, but 
Hopefully we'll whack on them this morning. All right, so we're uh, pulling into our first spot of the morning. Uh, yesterday afternoon we fished a few hours. Had quite a few live shrimp. We had a bunch left over. Well, uh, we just, we had two flop boxes with us and uh, we put them in there overnight. And that's what we'll start out with this morning. These dudes are doing good. The battery's still at full power on both of them. As you can see. Ben, we're gonna be starting out popping cork here. About a yeah, foot and a half. We'll, uh, we'll get y'all throwing a pop cork and we'll throw a few artificials and uh, yeah, this tide's coming out still, so we'll just Jordan, see what's on this. Jordan's gonna use the he's mini gonna, mini I shrimp this morning. <laughs> he's uh he's testing the water back there. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna fish the outside of this cut and see what's going on. We'll holler back at y'all. We're gonna eat that. Fish of the day. That's oh, a sheep head. Jordan's on the, uh, on the board. We ain't on the box, but we're on the board. It's a little sheep. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's a drum. It is? Oh, yeah, it is a black drum. There's a drum there, Jordan. You just gotta look at the see them teeth. Does some like? Yeah. Go in right here behind this, this spot right here and that keep them alive. I'll swim around for you. Let's try it again. And I'm hungry. So it's been a little tough this morning. Uh, we got a decent wind, got a good little chop on the water. Tide's not as strong as we really want it. Uh, you know, we fished a couple points throughout the marsh and pulled up to one and boom, doubled up on two real good ones and let them go and we're gonna try to get on some more. All right, so we just made another move. That other spot kind of slowed down for us and uh, I'm working on one right now. First cast, there he pulls up a nice trout. And I think I got a pretty good little redfish on here, so that's good. I think we've put three baits in the water and so far we've had three pretty, pretty good hits, so. We're sitting on the backside, this water's pushing through here. And I just asked Ben, you know, why, why do you think there'd be more on this backside? And he's like, man, the current's pushing. And, they're opportunistic feeders. That bait's coming through and they're sitting on the backside waiting on it. We're just tossing it right here in front of the boat. There they are. Uh, not good one. Nice redfish. Baby. 
All right, so we got this one in. Um, we've been fishing popping quartz predominantly, and uh, this spot Ben's like, man, got that Carolina rig already rigged up. The one on the bottom right here, they're gonna be sitting on the bottom on those rocks, and uh, sure enough, pulled in a nice one. This is perfect size. Gonna be a nice fillet, you know. Some people like it on the half shell, these redfish. It's gonna be good, however you cook it. Put him in the box. Get over here. Catch, pick, catch, picture, release, my man. We got, we got, I got a sheep head. You got a sheep head. We got a big, big flounder. Golly. I'm trying to get this one in. We're we'll quadded up right now. And then Jordan's over here. I got a big red. They double sheep. <laughs> what, what, what you got down here? You got the big dog by the board. Grab the net, grab the net. Got it on my phone, so part of the, the clip before this, you guys might see it. I'll have to send it to Jake for this video. It might be vertical. But uh, we've been catching them here, and it's on fire. We had four lines in the water at one time, and Ben's running around as the net man. And we go doormat flounder. Jordan hooks up with something big. It turns out to be this guy. Big old redfish. Jake hooks up with a big old sheep's head. Ben, uh, ben actually already netted mine and uh, threw it back in the water, but, and you talk about just chaos there for a minute. It has turned on. It is uh, not even 11 o'clock. It's 10.52, and boy, that was fun. Can you take a picture of this? Yeah. I got my phone out of my pocket. Oh, I'll get, I'll get one with my camera holder. We've been picking up fish at every stop. And uh, this guy right here, I'm measuring just for confirmation. He's gonna be about 17 inches, but uh, this is gonna be number 21 for us. Boat with five guys in it, we can catch 25. We're gonna have a big, um, yeah, he's almost, uh, he's right at 17 inches. So uh, we're gonna cook a bunch of these up tonight. We're gonna go to the store, we're gonna get some rice. It's gonna be good. It's Thank number you. 21, let's see if we can pick up four more. What do we think, man? It's just what we wanted. Heck yeah. Box full. Number 24 for the box. We need one more. Redfish limit and Ben's hooked up right now. 25, Ben. Yeah, that's 25. This one's over. 
All right, so uh, as you guys saw earlier, we finished up our redfish limit. Went back to the dock for a minute, just kind of regrouped. Uh, got some drinks, got some snacks, and we decided to uh, come out and try to catch some flounder. We uh, throw in gulp and we're tipping it with shrimp. And uh, first stop, well, second stop. First stop, we picked up, what, probably four, three or four. And uh, second stop, we picked up three in about, I don't know, we just stopped the boat. So uh, it's a good start. Let's see if we can catch some more flounder. Sweet. Caught a ton of flounder out of this hole. That's what we're targeting. And I've hooked up with def something that's definitely not a flounder. My gut tells me it is a giant drum. Mid fight update. <laughs> not making a lot of progress. <laughs> Starting to wear him down a little bit, but I don't know. We're probably five minutes into this thing at this point. And uh, you know, I'm not one to put too much pressure on him with his drag. We've already got it pretty tight. And he's, he's still pulling drag. I mean, we're gaining a little ground here and there, but uh, it's just a little bit at a time. We'll, we'll get him eventually. He's hooked good. Um, I think we're... A second ago, he surfaced, and he was about, I don't know, 40, 35, 40 yards out there. So, not surfaced, but I could... See the boil from his tail, so we're we're getting there. What happened? <laughs> well, we got a pretty good look at him. Got him about I don't know 10 feet away. Uh, he was getting ready to go on another run again, and probably put a little bit too much pressure on him and uh, pulled out of his mouth. But it was a big old black drum. His tail looked like it was about that wide, so. And I don't know, he was he was big. I that all I could tell you. Hit a big old head and a big old tail. But uh that was fun. Put up a good little fight. Caught a few of them. I'd have liked to got him for camera. Uh, it'd be like that sometimes though. So we're finishing up the day. Uh we did real well on redfish this morning. It, it was off to a slow start. Uh, ended up getting on a good bike, getting our redfish, throwing a bunch of big ones back and uh, we came up in the inland marshes and a little bit further north of this estuary and uh, started catching a good bit of flounder. I think we probably got, I don't know, 25 or 30, give or take, but it's been a good day. We're going to go wrap this up. Everybody, when we got back to the dock, everybody kind of put what they wanted in their own little bag. I probably got a little too much for myself. But uh, Ben right here, he's touching his up with some garlic. He's got his on the half chill. He's got three redfish. Uh, I've got about half and half. I've got three uh, flounder fillets and three redfish. And it looks like uh, George's got four redfish fillets so um this bag right here is this might be yours jake or i don't want to do it yours maybe this one but everybody's just kind of doing their own thing individually we got some onion we got some jalapenos some peppers some asparagus some lemons so everybody's you know got their own little style you guys will have to let us know in the comments how you like to cook your fish uh we put a load of mustard uh, coated our base with it and then i'm just covering mine and this seasoning, I've actually never tried this stuff. Camp Dog looks pretty good. I put a little garlic powder on there. And, uh, George done a little cutting <laughs> down here. Big chef over here. And, uh, Love to cook, actually. Coming together nicely, man. This is going to be good. This is, it, this is as fresh as it gets. It, uh, don't get any fresher than this. So we're excited about this one. We all right, we got it all cooked up, and uh, 
Well, we are we're, we're ready, man. This is looking good. We got quite a variety here. We got our rice, we got our vegetables, we got some shrimp, we got redfish, flounder, trout, a few reds on the half shell here. Mine are just plain fillets like you saw earlier and we're coating them up. So uh, it's time to, we got to cut this video out. We're ready to eat. We're starving. Uh, but I want to give a big shout out to our man, Ben. Uh, yes, sir. Incredible day, man. Absolutely put us on. Yes, indeed. Uh, we, we, we had a blast, man. Uh, got any final words for us? Nah, man. It was a good time, as always. Uh, we're about to grow. That's all I got to say. Time. What you got for us, man? Final word. <laughs> God, <laughs> put him on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. It's done. He's a man of few words, but he's ready to eat. We'll see you on the next one.